Now I bet most of you are familiar with the game Minecraft. It's a game where you can build, kill, or do whatever you want. And you probably recognize this face, which belongs to none other than Steve. But did you know that Steve is actually crazy strong? He can lug around incredibly heavy blocks like it's nothing while still running, jumping, and swimming. But how strong is he exactly? Today we'll be looking at just how strong Steve from Minecraft actually is. Now we'll be answering a pretty simple question. If Steve can jump this high with his inventory full of the most massive blocks in Minecraft, how high could he jump with an MPD inventory if he used the same amount of force? Would he get as high as the moon? Maybe even to Mars? Let's find out. First, we need to find the gravity of Steve in Minecraft, since the gravity in-game is different from Earth's. To find this, I use the equation displacement equals initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. I use the command block timer by set link to time how long it took Steve to fall 10, 20, and 40 blocks in order to find T. Since Steve starts at rest in the air, initial velocity equals zero and displacement equals how high Steve is. After calculating all of these values, I found that the acceleration of Steve is 24.69 meters per second squared, which is around 2.5 times higher than Earth's. Next, we need to find how heavy Steve will actually be. The most massive block in Minecraft is the gold block, weighing in at 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. Since Steve has 37 inventory slots, including the offhand, he can hold 37 shulker boxes, which each hold 27 stacks of 64 gold blocks. And since Steve is quite blockier than the average person, I will estimate his mass to be around 100 kilograms. This results in Steve being 1,233,964,900 kilograms while carrying the maximum amount of gold blocks, and 100 kilograms when he's bare. We also want to find exactly how high he can jump. Here you can see that Steve can jump a bit higher than one block. After some experimenting, I found that he is just barely able to clear one block and three snow layers, so I'll estimate and say he can jump 1.375 meters high. Finally, we need to find how long Steve squats before he jumps, since this is where the force is applied. But in Minecraft, this is instantaneous, so I'll estimate it to be around 0.1 seconds. This number is actually not that important to the final answer because it will be cancelled out later. Alright, let's get started. A jump's force comes from the period from when you're fully squatted down to the instant you leave the floor. This period is when your legs push onto the floor and your body accelerates upwards. Once you leave the floor, the only force acting on you will be gravity. Since F equals MA, we need to know the mass and the acceleration of this period of jump squat in order to find force. We know that the mass of Steve with gold is 1,233,964,900 kilograms, but we need to find acceleration. We can calculate acceleration using change of velocity over T, and we know that the initial velocity is zero since the jump starts at rest, and we know that T equals 0.1 seconds since we estimated that earlier, but we don't know final velocity. We can calculate final velocity by using energy. Since energy is conserved, the maximum potential energy, aka when Steve is at his highest and at zero velocity, will equal the maximum kinetic energy, aka the instant he leaves the ground. We get this equation and we want to solve for V. Plugging in the numbers gives us V equals 8.2399 meters per second, and once we plug it into the acceleration equation, we get 82.399 meters per second squared. With F equals MA, we can calculate that Steve is outputting 101,678,707,760 newtons of force when he is jumping. Now that we know the force that Steve is outputting at his heaviest, let's find how high he would go when he's at his lightest. To do this, we need to do every step we just did backwards, now using 100 kilograms. First, we find the acceleration by converting the equation F equals MA into A equals FM using the new mass of 100 kilograms. This gives us an acceleration of 1,016,787,077.6 meters per second squared. We then want to find the final velocity by converting the equation acceleration equals change of velocity over time to change of velocity equals acceleration times time. Here, we multiply the number by 0.1 again, cancelling it out as I mentioned earlier. Solving for V gives us 101,678,707 meters per second. Here, we use the energy equation again, but this time solve for height. Plugging everything in, we get that height equals 2.09 times 10 to the 14th meters. 
This means that if he used all of his strength, he could jump 209 billion kilometers high. If Steve jumped from Earth with this much power, he would shoot right past Pluto and still have 203 billion kilometers to go. He'd be well on his way to the next star. So what have we learned? We learned that Steve has the power to jump between planets and potentially solar systems, all contained in his blocky legs.